All right, we have another question here from LND81. All right, who asks between this, this being parallels, right? Mac OS parallels between parallels and crossover Mac, which is better if the only thing you want to run is Sierra charts. Watch both videos you did, and I am looking for the easiest install to use, but I am unsure. So if I remember correctly, well, I don't, it's been a while since I did crossover Mac, but I did have some issues with crossover at, at points. Um, but I don't remember the install being that difficult now. So in terms of installing is parallels was easy to install. And I don't remember having too many issues with crossover, but I think the main thing to focus on is going to be your, the resources that it takes, right? So if you don't have a lot of hard drive space or, you know, if you're working with an older device, since crossover doesn't actually install an operating system on your, like you don't have to, it's not a VM that's running on top. It's kind of just running on top of your Mac OS in an integrated kind of virtual machine, if that makes sense, you know, so technically it should use less resources than parallels, but setting up parallels is really, it was super easy. It was, you know, it wasn't that hard at all. Both of those are going to be easy to set up and they're pretty straightforward. So, you know, if you can install, if you can install software, they're both pretty much going to be about the same. So it really just comes down to personal preference. However, I do like parallels better because it's, it's not as confusing, especially if you want to go through and you want to, you know, migrate over some data and, or you want to go and change your, your, you know, into your folders and start making changes and stuff like that. Or you want to do backups and stuff. You want to get inside of the folders for Sierra chart and you want to do anything inside the folders for Sierra chart parallels. That's the one, the way that I would recommend, I would, I would recommend going through parallels because it's going to be more so like using a windows PC and it's not, it's going to, it's not going to be as complicated. Right. Um, and I think that's the main, those are the main differences. So since I did mention about the resources, and I think I talked about it in this video, I'm running an old 2015, I think it's a, yeah, it's a 2015 13-inch MacBook Pro. It's, it's really slow at this point, but it doesn't really, you know, slow things down too much on my MacBook. My MacBook is, I can still run Sierra chart pretty smoothly, you know, um, with using parallel. So I'm saying all that to say that, you know, you, know, you should be, fine with the resources, no matter what your, you know, no matter what kind of machine or Mac device that you're using or MacBook that you're using, you know, you should be fine, you know, either way that goes. Right. So I think I, anyway, I think I answered that question. If you have any more questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments. Let me know how y'all like these, um, me answering these questions on video versus answering them in the comment section, because of course I'm gonna be able to answer the questions quicker in the comment section, but I, I want to, I can elaborate more and, and go more into details if I answer them through video. So let me know in the comment section how you, if you like this versus the regular, just answering in the comment section. And until the next time, or the next question, trade it easy.